and again where both sides want to cement a good mid-week floated forward up towards the heads and Josh Robson nods that clear we're underway as Morpeth look to build from deep with three sevens who just flings it down the line looking for Luke James to flip on and he does just past Sam Hodgson there they've got a free kick for his troubles mate towards the edge of the 18 yard box not much else height in there Jack Foley's got a great leap on him which they won't know about Luke James can get there as well they go short to James flips it on and the post keeper gathers but it was the right idea why did no one, why was no one else on board with it it was gathered fielded comfortably anyway they look to come to a pace here Rylance it is a crossfield ball which is perfect towards Dwyer on this left hand side. Morpeth's midfield not really funneling across at the moment. He's cut inside Fenton John who's chased him. There's a shot forward. That's wide of the post. I think it's still the actual ball itself. And that's both of them. That's not just Masanka to be fair. Henderson um, plays that down the right hand side looking for Foley who will keep it in but he's facing the corner flag. Oh, he's got himself a corner. He's done well there considering that. <laughs> There's no near post option here. It's hoisted towards that area, headed clear and un un unopposed, headed back into the box, headed clear again. But, uh, Fenton John should get onto that and does. Nice looking ball towards Will Dowling there. Lone flat in the area and one more gets underneath it and spins it towards the far post. A chance. 27 minutes on the clock. Because when we do, we're kind of quite unstoppable at times. Okay. Jeff Henderson has not won that aerial challenge again. It's bounced through. We could be Sanka and we're going to have a free kick here. It's three around the, the, the ball. Uh, Dwyer, I think, is one of the fans. Instead, it's the number seven shots. Ooh, Langley, rather unconventional saves. That was James Bailey's free kick. Egan to Smith, patiently building. So it's a bit more zip on them on the ball. Foley doesn't win it, but disrupts. Moves out to the left-hand side, and that's dropped in field to Neld, out towards the right-back position. It's Burns plays at Masanka. He's in behind, chance for James Dwyer. Into the side, netting, but this is a worrying position. Um, you've got Dylan Dwyer over it, you've got James Bailey, who's already got one on target, so he's had one sighter of goal. I do wonder if Dwyer's not going to have a turn. He won't, you know, it's going to be Bailey. Hoist it towards the far corner, he hits the crossbar. Cannons off the woodwork and comes back towards the right, left side of the penalty area, swung in towards the area, headed clear by Ballardo, headed further on by Foley. Luke James is going to try and hold it and wins a free kick for his troubles. Ask yourself the question. Um, I'm just looking a little bit leggy and a little bit outmaneuvered at the moment. Reese Evans has just coughed that up quite readily on the stretch on halfway. Can't keep giving the ball to an opposition. He has the substitute chance to shoot. Huff does shoot. It's deflected just over the top. There's still the substitutions. Low towards Clive Smith from Luke Pilling, the goalkeeper. Floated forward up towards Masanko, who's charged with holding it and does really well. Finds Dean Firm in the field. No more with midfield is really getting back. Fenton John out to the right in Hardcastle. Low and flat towards the box. Should be in. And is in. Yeah, the goal has been coming. It's number 15, Jake Burton, who slides in. Both of them just looks like they've been tiring and a bit at the mercy of the opposition. And they have slid it in at that far post. And in 77 minutes, it's 1 0. Yeah, that will galvanise. Rylands have looked far the better side this last 10 minutes in terms of. Uh, the counter attack and we played a really iffy looking ball in behind and all of a sudden a chance to make it two it's Burton he's in again saved by Laus uh, Langley had to make that save there Ball played down the right hand side and Masanka's going to get there, right side the penalty area. One more tries to wrestle with him, played back, chance to make it two. In off the post, it's two. Yeah. But they, they could concede another here. They've gone out to the right hand side and Ben Huff. Chance to cross into the area, it's deflected towards the goal. In the back of the net, it's three now. And Jake Burton scored a third, and this is going from bad to worse. From this one, I'm going to have a look at the scores after Jordan Hickey's delivery is spun into the box. Jeff Henderson heads it across goal. Foley's not going to win the drop in the box. Foley shoots. Well, well over the top goal kick. Our intentions throughout the game. Jeff Henderson goes low and flat to Luke James. Much around the corner for Foley. In towards the box. Chance to get a shot away and does. That's blocked. 
my uh, Aaron Pickles. It's up for Monday afternoon when we make the short hop over to Blythe Spartans and Croft Park for a first league fixture in goodness knows how long. So we now swing delivery then from Fenton John in towards the area. Jeff Henderson's header over the top of the bar. I think to, so we can get another ball in play. Throw in, taken towards the corner flag and Islands are trying to get out of there. All they can do is find Danny Barlow, who finds Jordan Hickey, flings that clear towards the head, flipped backwards by Neld. Um, Dwyer under pressure. And there goes the final whistle. 3 0 home defeat for the home. Uh, three goals in six minutes for Jake Burton, the substitute for difference.